we're going to go ahead and convert our character creator to Unreal MetaHuman. Make sure you go ahead and download the auto setup for Unreal Engine. First, we want to make sure we have 4K textures. What you want to do is go to your Activate Editor and within Skin Gen, you can turn this into 4K. Simply by selecting the 4096 by 4096 and updating. Next, we're going to go ahead and export the head. You want to make sure you select the MetaHuman male or female, big texture size to high, and you can go ahead and export. Now, we're going to import our FBX. With the auto setup, this should be pretty easy. I didn't change any settings here. Next, go ahead and select the MetaHuman Identity. This is where we're going to conform our head mesh. Select the Create Component from Mesh and find the character head that you've created. Here, I'm rotating it so our character faces the front camera. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and set the viewpoint to about 20 or less. We're going to go ahead and activate our front face camera frame. Here, I'm just renaming it to front camera. And from there, I'll put the audio tracking on. Let's go ahead and lock our camera to prevent any accidental movement. Next, we'll do the MetaHuman Identity Solve. And now I'm just checking my AMB to see the results. Now we can go ahead and create our MetaHuman character. Double click on it and just follow these settings. First, we're going to conform and then we're going to set it to our from identity. Go ahead into your asset and you're going to find the identity you just created and plug that in. Now, if you notice the eyes having these problems, you can just undo, go back, and uncheck the use eye muscles, meshes. I'm changing my topology to skin so I can do some adjustments here. First, I want to download the texture source. Make sure you do the 8K resolution. I have my image from character created just for comparison. Next, let's go to the materials tab. You can use this to update the skin color. However, we're going to use the images that we just downloaded to do that. Head down and enable Texture Override. And within your folder, you should find the head texture or the head diffuse. We're going to go ahead and plug that in. I'm also gonna plug in the normal so we can do that by adding another texture layer and selecting the base color of normal. Now we're going to go back, find that normal texture for the face and plug that in.
Here, I'm just adjusting the eye color to match what I had from my previous character from Character Creator. I'll go ahead and select the body tab and select model and adjust these settings to get the body to the way I'd like it. I want to use the body texture from Character Creator, so I'll go ahead and activate another body layer and select the body layer color. I'm adding eyelashes to the character. If you want to add additional details, you can go into the scope mode. Now, time to assemble. Create the full rig and this will enable you to have the rigged muscles on the face and the body. Here I'm just testing it out. Next we're going to go ahead and assemble. You may get an error if you need to download the texture sources. But once that's done you should have the assemble mode activated. We'll go ahead and click assemble and now once that's done navigate to your folder and our character is done. 